All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Bashem, Rechach, Kodash, the one the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Okay, peace and salutations to you, sincere active out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Um, real quick, man, I just wanted to jump in through the spirit because uh, the things that we're seeing is, uh, this, this is basically the spirit of prophecy manifesting. Um, you know, very exciting times that brother's been talking about. All of the talk of, uh, you know, unity is good, but um, they have to be unified under the right doctrine, under the right spirit, and uh, under the right prophecy. All of these things are part of uh, prophecy. You know, because when you call yourself a prophet, that means that you say things before they happen. You know, you're using the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy to say things before they happen. So in order for you to make that statement, that means the Lord has to be dealing with you and showing you things. And uh, if that's the case, then it's going to manifest. You know, for us to become together unified, it means that we've received that spirit. We've become new men. And uh, the Lord has called us to be prophets or teachers or, or apostles or whatever our role might be. All right. And uh, this latest edition is, is, <laughs> is prophecy. Elon Musk again. Here, here we go again with uh, Neuralink. Now they're straight up in your face telling you. Look, they want to stitch a computer into your brain. Now, <laughs> you go on YouTube and you look up all this thing, RFID, RFID. This is computer in your brain, Neuralink. Who's going to come up? The brothers of Great Millstone. All right, who's, who's pushing that? The brothers of Great Millstone. Why with the with the unity of these other camps not uh, presenting this, pushing this out? You know, the, we know that the mark of the beast is going to come, and it's going to be a temptation for people to take it. So that that means that um, you know, if, if it's going to come as a temptation, you know, all over in Babylon, that means it's going to have to be. And we know that uh, it's a karagma, something that's inserted. So we know that. You know, this man is going to try to insert something into you to to control you, you know, and, and to eventually destroy you. So, you know, look no further. And, the, you know, the men of Great Millstone, they're familiar with this. But uh, I'm going to just read through a little bit because, uh, you know, first, uh, when I first woke up to the truth, I, I was Google searching, you know, RFID technology and implantable devices and nothing popped up. You know, maybe maybe um, from an old movie, uh, I think it was Fortress 2 with Christopher Lambert, where they actually did give him a neural implant. You know, that was that was something that uh, I had seen before, uh, but I uh, couldn't quite... Uh, apply it to uh, the, the prophecy that the scriptures give it application to. Okay, it says the chip, <laughs> that's a real thing now, the chip. Your cars have a chip. Everything has a chip, you know. Hey, because um, these Edomites, even at the top level, no matter how high they are, no matter how much money they are, um, behind the scenes, they pray to Satan, and uh, they pray to these different you know, these, these different gods and these entities, whoever they might be, you know, we, we, we know the spirit that they come in, though, and uh, they have to, even them, they have to follow prophecy, okay? Because the spiritual demon Satan, he can't he can't go against what the Most High set up either. So they're, they're going to have to do this. So basically what they're doing, as you can see in every industry, is they're ramping up. So that the trends start to become for you to take this chip. Just like you have certain trends in the store now. Uh, like the scriptures do say, uh, follow not a multitude to do evil. But, uh, you know, you have good trends, of course. You have bad trends. You have, you know, the whole uh, high fructose corn syrup. That's a trend. And then all these other food companies, they'll follow that. You know, putting soy, soy protein, soy lecithin. You know, changing the name of shit, MSG, to other shit. Those are all trends. 
then you got the good trends, you know, the, the celery juice trend, the the uh, all of that stuff, the health food craze. So, you know, this this chip is going to become the next major trend. Here, I could plug this in my brain. Look, you know, they cut my arm off. Now I can uh, plug in, you know, some kind of device for an arm, and boom. Okay, the scriptures talk about the lion wonders. Um, talks about the 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 yeah. It talks about the lion wonders. Talking about the inventions, the devices of the wicked. You know, because hey, this man on a level, there's he does have a certain amount of power. You know, these Edomites are able to, you know, which some of it is off, and some of it seems you know like. Uh, False, false signs, but you know they're able to tell you what part of the brain controls what aspect of your understanding. Even though we know that it's ultimately the spirit that does that, but uh, you know these, these this man is he's wiser than Daniel. They're able to go in and uh, look at your brain under a microchip. They actually can hook your brain up to one of these things, which, like Elon Musk was saying in the video, uh, the May video. Basically, this has been a secret, and they've been testing this for for years. Okay, and and you know, so like somebody came to the camp. He was talking about you can't prove that you have a spirit. You can't prove that you have a soul. You can't prove this and that. Well, when your heart stops, they want to they want to revive you. What do they do? They hit you with electricity. A certain amount, certain amount of uh, volts of electricity. To, uh, to, shock, to shock you, you know, because your body has a certain amount of bioelectricity. And what is that? That's your spirit. You know, if, and if you ask them, well, look, what happens to that bioelectricity when it leaves your body? Where does it go to? You know, does it go to the earth? Does it go into the sky? What happens to it? And, and when you get there, people, excuse me, like people don't know. So... You know, the, the scriptures are set up, man, for our learning. This is, um, so like it. Jumping in. Hey, number 12 and 6, and he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you. I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. And the Lord has given our apostles the visions of these things. Okay, the vision is set up for an appointed time, right? It will speak and not lie. Don't these things, haven't these things spoken? Haven't, the, haven't uh, Elon Musk come out? Look, we want to hook your brain up. We want to do all this stuff. Just like the apostles have been saying. Yes, they have. <laughs> so it's set up for an appointed time. The Lord gave uh, the, the men we follow the visions. That's why, you know, order is so important because, you know, this is this is for real. This is life and death. This is Ezekiel 33 and, and 33 because, you know, I just, you can go to Revelation 13 and uh, look up uh, stuff on the chip. But I just wanted to bring out prophecy because that's the important part, you know. We read through the scriptures and, you know, you read the different stories, you read the different pieces of wisdom. But when you actually see prophecy, men say things before they actually happen. That's that's something that's a whole nother level that comes from the most high. So it's important to listen and evaluate that. Um, it said, let me go back. Or is that what I want? Yeah, verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Okay, because that's what our people want. They want smooth things. Look, everything is going to be okay for you guys. Just like I was talking to uh, Jake at my job, I was talking about, you know, the steps that our, our people have to take. You know, specifically uh, black people, because, you know, he was black, I'm black. 
so-called, you know, black. Um, I'm talking about how we would have to adapt and we'd have to really move and work for us to uh, even think about competing on a world level. You know, just like these other nations, we know the nations that are drop as a drop in the bucket. But right now, they're able to, you know, take their, their, their money, take their trade, take all that stuff on a global scale. You know, unlike the, the tribes of Israel, none of, no tribe, none of us is on a global scale. I'll put it like that. None of us is on a global scale. Not the Israelites. And, um, you know, so people, our people, they don't want to listen. They want to hear the smooth things. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. But the the truth is what? You got ICE. You know, I've been all week. I've been seeing U.S. Marshals. I've been we've been seeing different federal agents jump out of different unmarked vehicles. You know, we've been seeing uh, a lot more people from the Northern Kingdom popping up. You know, because they're trying to get away from that persecution. Hey, all we can offer you is the truth. You know, if you don't want to hear it, then you want to hear it. Verse thirty-three: And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. It will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. So we've been talking about the chip. We got all kind of signs about the chip. Brothers been making all kind of videos on the chip, the chip, RFID, the chip. And now, boom, you can see a prophet is among them. Okay, and I had one more. I'm going to close this out because this stuff is important. When this stuff comes out. You know, for in order for you, like the scriptures say, in order for you to buy or sell, you have to take the mark. So if you have money invested, you have a family invested, you got your house, you got your setup, you know, whatever you got, you're not going to be able to buy or sell anymore. You know, you're going you're gonna to become a fucking, uh, 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 scripture talking about becoming pilgrims. You're going to be a pilgrim. It's Deuteronomy 18 and 22. It said, when a prophet... Matter of fact, let me jump back. Because this is the law. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 18 and 10. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, which that's a sacrifice, which you still got people to this day who are doing that, you know, sacrificing their children, or that uses divination or an observer of times or an enchanter, or a witch. And that, that's prevalent too, right? You you go on these different news websites or whatever, even on my phone, for the news, you know, the first thing that pops up is a, a fucking horoscope, which is, that's divination. That's people who try to observe the times and try to use the spirits and all of this other shit, you know? And our people are still big into that, man. The scriptures are, are, are always, the scriptures are always relevant. That's one thing I can say. You can never look up and say that the scriptures are relevant now. Right now we're reading in, uh, me and my particular camp, we're reading through uh, the book of Sirach, you know, Ecclesiasticus. And everything in there is still, still relevant. Uh, or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits, which that's what Esau is doing. Okay, in order for them to come up with a lot of this technology and stuff, they're using magic or a wizard or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord, thy power doth drive them out from before thee. Thou should be perfect with the Lord, thy power. Okay. Uh, then I could jump down to the point. Verse 22, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath spoken, but the prophet hath not spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. There you go. Uh, wait a minute, jumping up. Verse 20, but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And, you know, you have to evaluate if you really know the word of the Lord, you know, just like that's why the elders were getting on these other unity camps and stuff. 
because a lot of them are going off when it comes to the chip. A lot of them are going off when it comes to salvation, when it comes to Cornelius, all of the important topics, you know. I'm going to read that again. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, because, you know, a lot of these men, they know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They know the name, which I have commanded not to. Well, excuse me, which I have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Even that prophet shall die. So being a false prophet can lead to your death. OK, and if thou say now, you say, well, how do you know? Verse 21, if thou say in thy heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. If the thing follow not, if it doesn't happen, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. So basically disregard what the fuck he's saying. Okay. Just like, um, you know, you got Edomites, uh, you got anybody who might tell you, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rain tomorrow. You say, well, shit, how you know? I just know my knee itches. You really don't know what you're talking about. You know, you're speaking presumptuously. You're, you're presuming stuff. Okay, so everything that, 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 that's been taught by our apostles and elders on down has happened. It's happened or it's going to happen. You know, but that was it on that, man. It's just the spirit of prophecy is very important. Let's get that word. Let's end it off on there. What's that? Uh, I believe it's Napa, Napa Yah. Yeah, not Nabaya. Spokesman, speaker, prophet. Also, a speaker is a Kwahaloth. Uh, yep, a prophet inspired prophecy. You know, pro fess to say pra fessi, to say before. And that's that's the etymology of the word, to say before. But uh Kahalo Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Hey, Lord willing, man, you gotta continue to watch over this kind of stuff. Okay, you got all kind of just uh, even. Oh, let me Google this real quick. Google this. Yeah. That's all you get. Every every that's how you know this is important. Every main media outlet. Neuralink, Neuralink, Neuralink. You know, they, yep, because these Amalekites, these Edomites, which Amalek is Edom, but these Edomites who own these different media platforms, it's a trend. They all push together. They all, they all have to, they all under the same marching orders. Look, every last one of them, MIT, Science Review, Futurism, CNET, TechCrunch, Business Insider, Forbes, New York Times, all of them, CNN. Yahoo. Everybody has to push this. All right. So we can see these things are manifesting. Call all Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, Shalom.